All right, I'm going to show you how to use auto hotkey with uh, hexagon. And if you ain't got no uh, background on um, coding, that's not a big deal. I'm going to show you how to do this real simple and give you the best of my knowledge. Just go to autohotkey.com. This is free. You just download it and run the installer. And once you get there, um, you're going to have some files. And um, I moved them to my um, in one of my folders, so my shortcuts. And I'm going to be using the auto key writer. And I'm going to be using uh, this converter here in a little bit. All right, we're going to go ahead and this is one of the scripts I made, okay? I'm going to show you how I made this, but I'm going to right click this and I'm going to edit script so you can see in here. As you can see, it looks fairly simple. You don't have to really do a whole lot of writing in code. So, let's say that we're going to I'm going to run this script here first and show you how it works because in hexagon, uh, some of the tabs you cannot use hotkeys for tabs. So, I made the hotkeys for the tabs. All right, I'm going to click this file and it's going to run. It's going to run by the system tray down by the clock on the right hand side. You probably won't see it in the video. And this file here will not work for anybody if you just send it to them because they'll have to download the program. Now this this little converter right here will convert this file here in a little bit. And that way if they don't have the program then you can just uh, will convert it for them and make it an exe file. Then they can uh, just go ahead and try it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and run the script, and it's going to start in my system tray here, and I'm going to load hexagon here, and it's these tabs to the top here, they don't have any, um, you can't set up no hotkeys to click through a tab. So if I was, uh, I'm going to go ahead and on the bottom of my keyboard, uh, I'm going to press alt, then I'm going to start pressing some hotkeys, as you can see it's moving across there really quick. I'm not actually clicking, I'm using the hotkeys on the keyboard. And I'm going to show you how that's done. Alright, um, when you're not using hotkey, you go down the system tray and just go ahead and uh, disable it or whatever it takes. Alright, this is what we're going to do. First of all, if you're going to send this file to somebody, you need to ask them what screen size resolution they're using. And you need to see what version of hexagon you're using because uh, hexagon uh, 2.5 has got more tabs up here. And you need to find out if you're going to be running this in full screen or not. So everything must be compatible because this is going to go where the mouse position's at. This might sound a little complicated, but it's very simple, and I'm going to show you. And it won't take very long for you to just get this up and running. And once you go and you start programs, you'll see this thing that's called Auto Writer. So we'll just double click this, and we got this little option cup coming up. I'm going to write. I'm going to write two lines of code for this. I'm going to make two clicks. And before I make two clicks, I'm going to press record. All right, uh, I'll make a hotkey for the lines tool and the surface modeling. Okay, I'll stop here. I'm going to click the lines tool. Then I'm going to, before I click the surface one, I'm going to stop. As you can see, it wrote a line of code right here. This is basically the line of, this is all the line of code right here. That's it. All right, we're going to go ahead and continue recording, and I'm going to make one for the surface modeling tab click and we'll stop all right now we got two lines of code okay so I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and delete this and instead of stopping all the time we'll I'll make a fresh start okay let's redo this I'm just kind of showing you here so I'll, we'll just restart it and instead of me pausing I'm just gonna keep on recording so press record make one for let's say make make one for the vertex modeling the one for the lines tab then we'll stop as you can see, both the lines of code stuck together here. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and save this here. And we'll go ahead and save this into the my hotkeys. And we'll call this test. All right. All right, we're going to open this back up here. And here's our new one called test. If I right click it, you can edit script. And all the stuff above here, we can just delete this. We're going to start with it says the mouse click, and we're going to delete this. All right, we need to set up some hotkeys, so I'll go ahead and cancel this or close this and press yes, and we'll open up the help file, and we'll in the index we'll type the word hotkey. All right, if you scroll down just a little bit, now you got these. You got these little symbols here, and it, there's this little symbol right here. 
This little symbol stands for the Alt key. This little symbol here stands for the Control key. This little symbol here stands for the Shift key. All right, I'm going to concentrate on the Alt key here, okay? I'm going to open up my old script here so you can see it. Right click, edit. As you can see, there's that little symbol. We're going to go ahead and turn the font size up here so you can see a little bit better. And there's that little symbol. This is the Alt, then this is the uh, letter Z. So the hotkey is Alt Z. If that symbol wasn't there, the hotkey would just be Z. So I'll just go ahead and copy this right here. As you can see, it's got, I think they're called hyphens. I'm not for sure. There's two of them together. All right, and look at the bottom. It says exit. I think you this will stop the script instead of running all the way down it. And uh, I'll go ahead and right click and edit this one here. And we got two commands here. As you can see, they always stop at sleep. So let's just paint this out so we can see what we're doing. All right, for the first click, we'll name it Alt Z. And for the next one, we're just going to name this one Z. So we're going to have Z and Alt Z. Now we need to make these. Now if I click one of these, this, both these scripts will run together. So we need to stop it. So we can just press exit here. I think you can also type the word return. So you might want to double check that. But this seems to be working fine for me. So what this is going to do is when I push press Alt Z, it's going to click one of the uh, tabs. Then it's going to stop until I press another hotkey which is going to be Z so we got alt Z and Z so let's kill this script here or not kill it but close it alright now we're going to go ahead and run this script I'm going to double click it and it's going to run in the system tray down by the clock alright uh, I'm going to go ahead and just slick tab over here and this time I'm going to press alt Z then I'm going to press Z as you can see it's moving back and forth I kinda like the Alt Z and Z it's kind of like a toggle back and forth between the two and I don't have to I don't have to worry about thinking where another hotkey is at and another thing is uh, when I set up my other ones as you can see I got I started from the left here and if you look at the keyboard on your keyboard down by the uh, space bar you got Z X C V B N B they're all in the bottom row and I kind of made all the hotkeys for this, so I made them all in the row, on the same row on the bottom of the keyboard, is the same as on these tabs here. So it's really easy for me to remember. And plus, another thing is, if I press Z or Alt Z, it's kind of cycled back and forth. Very simple. All right, with that done, now you want to send this to a friend of yours. Okay, you want him to try that. Okay. First, we're going to go need to right click and we're going to exit the script. All right, this one was called test. All right, let's let's take a look at the script again, so you can see it. Very simple script. Okay, you don't have to write any code in here, and you can see these are the mouse positions with the numbers. This you don't even have to know any kind of scripting. Uh, the program does it for you, and what it what this really does is it finds out your location of your mouse cursor, and it's going to click at that position. That's why I said earlier that uh, you need to find out who you're sending this to and what size screen resolution they're using and if they're using hexagon full screen because if they were in hexagon and they went full screen these tabs were not going to line up in the same position of the cursor they might go higher so by default I just left everything alone so okay now I want to send this to a friend of mine so what I'll do is run this converter since uh, let's say he don't have auto hotkey well, I need to convert this for him, okay? I can send you this file here if you have a auto hotkey downloaded, but if I was to send it to somebody else, it's just not going to work. So we're going to use this converter, and we're going to click here. And it's going to ask you to browse for the file here, and uh, this one's test. And that's basically all you do. Now you can add some more stuff here. Just leave everything at default, and press convert. Give it a few seconds. You can actually times I am, and it's gonna make it XE. Okay, it's completed. Where is this file? Well, there's your new file. This is your new EXE file. And once they click this, this will be running in their system trays, and they can load up uh, Hexagon. 
then they can press Z or Alt Z. And uh, this one here, you don't right click in to edit this. You edit the scripts here. And as you notice earlier, I erased the name up here because it said uh, hexagon 2.1. And you want to make sure that uh, you go ahead and erase that because I don't know what happens if uh, I gave you a file that said 2.1 and you're running 2.5 or something like that. So I just you don't need the text on the top here. It might cause more problems. So this is all the line of code you got. And uh, we'll just open the script one more time. And these are like, uh, here's the keys for my, uh, the tabs go across. Like I said, these are at the bottom of the keyboard. The, the Z, then we got Alt-X, or that's Alt-Z, Alt-X, Alt-C. They all line across the bottom of the keyboard. And they match all the way across the top of the tab. So it's very easy, very easy for me to... Uh, know where the hotkeys are at and what they go to so and as you can see I got another one down here this one I have set up for perspective view alright I hope you enjoyed it if you got any questions go ahead and uh, email me and uh, make sure that you got the uh, only thing that you got to write inside the code is uh, these little make sure you get these two little hyphens or whatever you call them in here and you need to stop the script because if I didn't have the exit here it's going to probably try running all these all this down here and I'll probably try clicking each tab as it goes so all you gotta do is write two lines of code per file here and you can see I separated them so I can see what I was doing very simple you don't need any really any background of any kind of programming language just uh, kinda of basic uh, tutorial this will help you through but anyway thank you very much